And now, your Storm Team 18 forecast, weather from where you live. Well, a good Monday morning. Last week we were seeing low temperatures in the upper 20s, lower 30s, a big uh, difference this morning. And we're finally seeing that warmer air move in. Temperatures in the mid to lower 40s region wide, 46 here in Lafayette, 43 in Remington. 42 Rensselaer cool spots again down in Montgomery County in the upper 30s close to 40 39 right now in Kokomo so it's still a little cool out there so get that jacket on but uh, storm team 18 radar and satellite we're all clear and it will be a nice sunny day we'll have a few cirrus clouds move in high level clouds during the afternoon but uh, really we are still under the influence of that high pressure we talked about all week last week and this will get out of here to the east of us by tomorrow evening. Our next system well off to the western portions of the U.S. right now. So that will move in later tomorrow. The rest of today looks fantastic. Might see a few high to mid-level clouds work in by the afternoon hours with temperatures in the mid to upper 60s. That's about 10 degrees above average. So if you have any outdoor plants, if you have any yard work, if you didn't already get that done this weekend, today it's a great day to do that since the changes will be likely tomorrow. We'll get to that right now. It will be also a windy day with a southwest wind gust at about 10 to 15, maybe even 20 miles per hour. So Futurecast indicates a little bit of those high level clouds moving in by lunchtime, but otherwise we'll stay. It'll be a very beautiful afternoon, very windy at times. But as we get toward Tuesday morning, we'll see a little more clouds tomorrow, so temperatures won't be as cool. Mid 40s overnight for those lows here, 730 going into lunchtime and then three o'clock. Yes, a little bit of green. Haven't seen uh, rain for about a week and a half now, so we'll have some light rain showers moving. Nothing too heavy for Tuesday. This is 730. All this will kind of get out of here by Tuesday evening into Wednesday, but then that kind of cold air will start to filter in as we get toward later in the week. But the next best chance for widespread rain Wednesday may be a spotty shower, less than 20% chance, mostly cloudy but then we'll have a front move through. This is Thursday at three o'clock in the afternoon. You've been talking about this last week even, and computer models are very uh, much in agreement that we will be seeing some showers with this Thursday afternoon, about three o'clock, and once that occurs, very cold air will start to filter in, and we'll be seeing cold air by the weekend. So enjoy the 60s while you can. 64 tomorrow with a 30% chance of showers in the evening and then our next best more widespread chance of rain comes Thursday. I think everybody will get to about a, maybe a half an inch of rain to an inch uh, for Thursday and then we'll see spotty showers Friday. Then it turns very cold there Saturday sun with highs only in the 40s. So looking at very cool air by the weekend. Yeah, David, I was going to say definitely looks like those temperatures are going to be dropping for us. Yeah, for sure. You know what, Marla? I want to bring this up. I, I've been noticing on social media posts about eight inches of snowfall by this weekend. <laughs> you know what? There there have been some signals. I've been looking at a lot of data here. Maybe a few flurries Friday night and Saturday, okay. but really no impacts to uh, uh, traffic wise, weather wise. So We'll keep a try eye on that. We have a lot of uh, weather ahead of us before mm -hmm. that, so we'll actually just focus on the next couple of days ahead, but it does turn cold by the weekend. Absolutely, and it is hard to kind of look so far ahead, too, yes. I'm sure, on that as yes, well. Yes, that's exactly right. You know, we're going to definitely update that forecast, but as of right now, nothing too heavy snow-wise for the weekend. Good to know. David, thank you so much.